I thought we could read some hate comments today for the, for the glorious day that is Halloween. Won't you join me? No kids for me, thanks. I thought while we read those hate comments, we could be sporting the look of the demographic of person that seems to be the one that leaves the most hate comments on my channel. Wonder why that is. Over the past couple weeks, months, whatever, I have been saving and cultivating hate comments that I've received on Instagram and here on YouTube. And, oh, this, oh, look. Even this mustache doesn't want to stick around for this bullshit. And I noticed after a while that, oh my God, straight white men with mullets and MAGA hats living in their mom's basement really don't fucking like me. They get so fucking offended that a woman would dare to not want to have children and not have hair and, and have tattoos and long nails and all the things that they despise, you know. They're very fragile and very small-minded. So let's read some hate comments, shall we? And also, just so you're aware, not all of these hate comments or less than favorable comments are from men, but most of them are. This one, when I got it, made me absolutely cackle. Great take, mentally unstable NPC. Lovely day we're having, isn't it? That's my impersonation of an NPC. Your love for not wanting kids sucks to be you because you're always going to be like this, jealous and alone and probably sad. Get a dog if you can't have kids. You'll probably feel true love and be able to return the love. And I responded to that when I said, I have three dogs because they're not kids, but thanks for the lovely advice. <laughs> like, why do people like this think that we give a flying f what they think about us? And why is someone like this even concerned with, with my feelings in life? They're not. Like, I just hate when people write comments and like, oh, you're going to be sad and lonely. It's like, why the f do you care? You don't even know me. You don't know me. You don't like me. Why the f do you care? You don't care, so leave. Like, come on. I see you made one individual choice your entire personality a child-free adult. And I said, I see you judge people solely off their internet presence. Shocking. So many people, men and women, love to be like, I'm child-free, but I don't make it my whole personality. Oh. It's like, okay, you're not making child-free content for the internet. And? Okay, so you're child-free and you don't feel like fucking talking about it? I don't give a f <laughs> If you don't want to talk about being child-free, then why are you here on a child-free page? Leave. <laughs> don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> and also, it always cracks me up when, when people equate your entire entire personality to what it is you post online like do 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 these people actually think that i go out to the grocery store or the park or where the f ever I, else i go and and stand on a literal soapbox and talk about these things i i don't understand what goes through people's minds but it cracks me up literally nobody wants you to have kids I'm a childless guy and nobody has ever shamed me for not having kids, lol, or any of the other single females I know. I'm sorry, if you call women females, f off. Your opinion is already dead to me if you call women females. That's so, just, that, what? that's so cringy. Like, what? It's so degrading sounding and it's so... I don't like it. Regardless, <laughs> nobody wants you to have kids. Okay, tell that to the people who've literally said, you'll know when you have children. I'm a childless guy. That's not the same thing as being child free. Get with the fucking program. Nobody has ever shamed me for not having kids. That's because you're a man. Hello? Get with the program. Men face so much less pressure to have children than women do. And like, I'm not gonna argue about that statement. It is a fact. 
women face more pressure to have children than men do. So the fact that you've never felt that pressure, I'm not fucking surprised. And that doesn't, that doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't tell me anything. Or any of the single females I know. You know one. Don't even try me. You know one single female. And she won't date you. And that's why you're mad. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> not funny in the least. Hate when crap like this is on my feed. I have a feeling that crap is like the dirtiest word this person ever utters. I'm, I just keep saying the same thing over and over, I feel like. If you don't think it's funny, why the fuck did you comment? Because now, Instagram or YouTube, doesn't matter where you do it, the algorithm's going to think you liked it because you commented on it. Even if you comment something negative, the algorithm doesn't understand that. It just says, oh, you commented on this. This must mean you like it. I'm gonna show you more of it. So thank you for helping me in the algorithm. This one's a long one. But does that automatically mean that you admit to having a creepy voice and being annoyingly giggly and moreover having parents who took up too much space in the aisle at some point of your life? You admit it, surely. I personally do feel child-free people are equally awesome or even more cool than new parents. But, <laughs> but seriously, children's giggles are creepy? Yes. Hello? Have you, have you ever heard a child giggle? They're creepy. I find them creepy. If you don't, that's fine. But if, if, if you, you can find them not creepy, I'm not going to come at you and be like, Oh my God, you don't find them creepy? So why do you care if I find them creepy? Why do you care? Continuing. So you were also creepy and were also left at home when your mom wanted to go out? Yeah. My mom would leave me when I was age appropriate to, to be by myself at home. Absolutely. My mom left me at home or she would leave me with my grandparents to go do things. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't try me. Well, at least you are self-aware enough to not give birth and call your kid creepy. I agree. Thank you so much for the backhanded compliment, you twat. You must have been a sad, depressed kid who never laughed and cheered and you almost and you also must be extremely dumb and not curious about anything as a kid. You shouldn't be on the internet, honey. You're really stupid. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be on the internet. Look at me. I'm halfway eating a fake mustache. So maybe you have a point there. I responded, thank you for your comment. One, yes, I'm sure my childhood laugh was creepy and I'm sure my parents did these annoying things. Two, next time save yourself the trouble of writing me a paragraph and just write, I'm offended. Hello? What, like, look how long that is. I am positive that my parents did shit when I was little that got on other people's nerves. And I am 100% positive that I got on people's nerves as a child. That doesn't mean I'm not allowed to have opinions about children myself. Okay. This one was from a man. As someone who has witnessed so many women suddenly decide after a certain age that they actually do want children, if someone is 23 or 24 and talking about being child free, they're mostly talking bullshit and will change course after turning 30. The ones who really don't want children usually don't announce anything. They just act. First of all, if you think I'm 23 to 24, I feel like you might be implying that I look 23 or 24. Thank you. Thank you, because I'm older than that. In honor of this stupid mother please comment down below if you are 30 or above and let this foolish ass man know that you still have not changed your mind and aren't going to. So this whole channel is dedicated to cope. Y'all made the right decision. I We agree. Telling us... We made the right decision. Thank God you don't have kids. Oh my God. Blah, blah, blah. I just keep making the same turkey sound because that's what I hear when they speak. Telling us that we've made the right decision and thank God you don't have kids. You're like, oh yay, blech, whatever. It's not the insult you think it is. Example, what's best for the gene pool? Good on ya. You need help. You're spelled incorrectly, a sad, sad little woman. And last but not least, this whole channel is geared towards child-free people validating their insecurity of being a subhuman.
I guess that's fine. We all need a shoulder to cry on, but on absolutely every level, being a mother deserving of children means you are the most strong, courageous, selfless, feminine kind of woman and possess the deepest beauty mother nature could possibly endow. <laughs> Child-free people live in a selfish and superficial world full of materialism and spoil, and that is because they are immature children themselves. It's evident in this woman's videos and all the comments. Enjoy loneliness, my loves. <laughs> I didn't respond. Tell me you're triggered and need to feel important without telling me. Anyone who comes on my channel and does this kind of bullshit, you are f***ing sad and pathetic and you need a life. You need to go take care of your children. You need to go have fun with your children. You need to go enjoy being a parent as much as you say you enjoy it and stop pretending to enjoy it. Because if you were as happy as you say you are, you wouldn't have the time to come to my channel and write shit like that. Honestly, I feel like this is more of a Luke Anyway, that's enough hate comments for the day. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had a great time here on Child Free Kimberly celebrating Halloween and enjoying all of my ridiculous ass costumes. Don't forget, we donate money to Carolina Abortion Fund every month. Link to their websites down below. Link to merch and Instagrams in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want, subscribe, become a member of the Child Free Cult. I will see you in the next one. Sans costumes. Happy Halloween, my friends. Okay, bye. I mean, K-bye. I'm so offended, I'm gonna leave now. Mer.